insightful podcasts by informative hosts. Insights into Things, a podcast network. Welcome to Insights into Teens, a podcast series exploring the issues and challenges of today's youth. Your hosts are Joseph and Madison Whalen, a father and daughter team making their way through the challenges of the teenage years. Welcome to Insights into Teens. This is episode 88, Would You Rather, round two. I'm your host, Joseph Whalen, and my responsible and trustworthy co-host, Madison Whalen. Hi, everyone. How you doing today, Maddie? I'm doing pretty well. Good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your week this week? Not too bad. Um, our new schedule started, actually. Um, having four hours of school each day, having to start an hour earlier than we were before, having four periods for each hour of the school day, and it's been a lot. Wow. Well, uh, how are you adjusted to it? Is it working out? Is it overwhelming? You think it's working? I mean, it's been all right. It's just I have a lot of work I have to do after school now because I don't because like school gets out. It doesn't last very long um, for most of your classes, so it has been, I have been getting a lot more work that I have to do after school, which I don't really like. Well, now, do you find that you're doing work later than when you're having full days, or is it later, is it within the time frame of when you were doing full days? Um, well, I still, ha well, as I said before, um, I started school an hour earlier than I did when I was in a full day because we had um a late day. I don't know what it was called. I don't remember. But basically now we start where we used to start at 7.15. So I have to wake up earlier so that I can get to school and sign in. And we only have four periods. One of them's ELA. The other's math. Then there's the virtual period where we work on our... um phys ed and specials and then we either have science or history for the first semester then for the second semester we switch to the other interesting okay well hopefully it'll work out it's only the first week now so we'll see where it goes so this is our post vacation podcast and this is also our post election podcast and and I'm sad to inform you, sweetheart, you did not win the election for president of the United States, despite our best Darn. efforts. So anyway, uh, I figured since we're easing back into our podcast schedule now that we don't have any more events or time scheduled off, uh, we pick up sort of where we left off from our last podcast with our Would You Rather session. Have a little bit of fun today, and we're going to do a round two of Would You Rather, since it seemed to go so well last time. Nice. Uh, before we do that, though, <clears throat> I would uh, invite folks to subscribe to the podcast. We're available, our video episodes for all of our podcasts, including Insights into Teens, Insights into Entertainment, and Insights into Tomorrow. You can look for us just as Insights into Things on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and Amazon. Or you can get just audio versions of the podcast if you look for Insights into Teens on all your major podcast networks. Uh, I would also invite folks to reach out to us and give us your feedback. Let us know how we're doing, what you'd like us to talk about, what you'd like us not to talk about. Uh, you can email us at comments at insightsintothings.com. You can hit us on Twitter at insights underscore things. You can hit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash insights into things podcast. You can get us on Instagram at insights into things. Or you can check out our website at insights into things.com where you get all of our video, audio, social media links, 
We have show notes, transcriptions, and profiles for the show host there as well if you'd like to get to know us a little bit better. Now, with all that business out of the way, shall we start? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. Okay, so we have, much like our last Would You Rather episode, we have several categories. These are a little bit shorter than the last ones. In our first round here, we're going to talk about things that are gross out things. Then we'll talk about your future self. And then we'll move on after that. Alrighty. Are we ready? Sure. Here we go. Would you rather never wear deodorant or have really bad dandruff? Probably really bad dandruff. Um, I do a lot of exercises, and as normal people do, probably, I get sweaty from them. So it would probably be better if I had that. Dandruff, I can kind of cure with hair stuff. Also, Mommy always picks out the dandruff pieces I do have in my hair, because she won't allow me to have, like, bad dandruff. She'll make sure I don't have it. Um, so yeah, I'd have bad dandruff. Okay. Would you rather wear winter clothes all year long or summer clothes all year long? Summer clothes. Um, because when winter does roll around, more than likely I'll be able to um, warm myself up in some other way. Because when it's in, when you're in the summer and you're supposed to be wearing all that baggy clothes, uh, you can't really do much to cool yourself down, but with a uh, hot weather outfit in the winter, you can probably just, like, grab a blanket, turn on the heat. Like, there's very little you can do when you're wearing a lot of warm weather clothes during the summer, but you can do a lot when you're wearing uh, warm weather outfits in the cold. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly well reasoned out. <laughs> Next question. Would you rather cover yourself in peanut butter? Or ketchup? Uh, peanut butter. Any particular reason? I mean, um, I know a lot of it would probably, like, go over my face. And to be honest, ketchup is a lot more liquidy and it'll spread everywhere else. Well, peanut butter is more of a spread and it won't go everywhere. Although, you know, it does get stuck at the top of your mouth if you do get it in. Um, and I just prefer peanut butter over ketchup plain any day. Okay, I can't argue with that. Would you rather only use dog shampoo or never cut your toenails? Um, well, uh, I guess use dog shampoo, even though I never like getting my toenails trimmed. Also, I know you got your, no t your toenails trimmed by mommy because I heard you screaming. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, neither of us like getting our toes trimmed, especially by mommy. Right. So, even though, but I know that if I don't get them trimmed, uh, they could go, they could cause me loads of discomfort, and I'd rather use dog shampoo. Okay. Would you rather eat moldy bread or eat moldy cheese? Oh. Um... I'd probably eat moldy bread because it wouldn't, I don't think it would be as, like, horrible because I know that dairy products always taste super sour when they're moldy, um, and bread, I've never really had moldy bread, but although it would probably taste disgusting, I don't think it would be as bad as moldy cheese. It wouldn't be, like, super sour, it might just be kind of stale, but, you know. Okay. Again, surprisingly well reasoned. <laughs> Would you rather have your dog or cat kiss you or your grandma kiss you? Uh, uh, probably my grandma. Cats have, uh, <laughs> cats kiss you a lot when you, when they love you. And although it's sweet, um, it's kind of, gross. Well, <laughs> I think you picked the right one because 
there's a much better chance that your grandma's listening to this podcast than your cats are too. So you won't offend the cats. Yeah, honestly, like no kisses from Jima would probably end up having saliva all over me. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we're really going to take a turn for the gross here. Oh, God. Would you rather have terrible gas all the time or burp out loud constantly? Oh, I guess burp out loud constantly. Okay. I I really don't have any good reasoning for it. It's just it might not smell as bad. Um, That's a very good reason, then. Yeah. I'll go with that. Would you rather eat a rotten banana or a rotten egg? Probably rotten banana. I've had rotten bananas before, and they're kind of just mushy and gross. Rotten eggs, I can imagine, will kind of sim- be similar to the thing with the moldy bread and the moldy, moldy cheese. It would probably be the worst one and would probably give me food poisoning. Okay, well, we would want that, would we? Nope. Would you rather always have the hiccups or always have big sweat stains under your arms? Hiccups. Yeah. Honestly, I never actually cure my hiccups when I do get them, which is why you always, when you hear me hiccup, you're like, okay, you need to, you need to cure these. Honestly, it's not that big of a problem for me. I always kind of like anticipating when the next one would come. So, all right, on a pu- as a public service announcement, Guaranteed cure for hiccups. If you get the hiccups, take a glass of water, take a sip, hold your breath for 10 seconds, let it out, take another sip, hold your breath, rinse and repeat, and continue to do that until the hiccups stop. Usually three or four rounds of that, and it's guaranteed to get rid of the hiccups every time. Yeah, for me, it's like one or two even. Yeah. So, just a public service announcement for all of our viewers and listeners out there. Uh, Where are we at? Okay, so the last question that we have for our grossed out segment. Would you rather sniff expired milk or sniff rotten eggs? Oh, sniff expired milk. I'd imagine the eggs would be a lot worse and the milk it's just like in a small little tunnel and all you have to do is take one sniff and it's like okay yeah that's spoiled okay that makes sense so that was all we have for grossed out not too bad right nope not too bad so our next set of questions are about your future self dun 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 wait do I have it no that's that's wrong no No, that's (laughs) No. <laughs> no, I don't have it queued up. All right, so that's all the things I have queued up, by the way, in case anyone was interested. Well, we can use them at some point. At some point. I guess, um, like, maybe the Twilight Zone one would probably be the best for that. Probably, yeah. Uh, so your future self. Would you rather have ten kids or no kids at all? Uh, probably no kids at all. Um, I'd be fine with having, like, one, maybe two kids, uh, but ten, I know the chaos, they're gonna co- they're gonna cost a lot, and it's a lot of personalities you have to kind of, you know, work with. And they walk all over my lawn, too. Get off my lawn, you kids. <laughs> uh. Would you rather ride a bike to work or ride a horse to work? Uh. Probably a horse, because it'd be a bit more interesting, and even at 11 years old, uh, I don't actually know how to ride a bike without tri- without um training wheels. I think Aunt Sally would be very proud of you, because you have ridden a horse before. Yep. See? Would you rather go to your dream college and have a lot of debt, or an okay college and have no debt? Probably an okay college. Um, I know debt takes a long time to repay. Um, and I'd be fine with just an okay college. I don't really have a dream college right now anyway. Okay. Well, that works. Would you rather die peacefully at 60 or painfully at 100? Uh, I guess peacefully at 60. 
I don't need to live for a hundred years. I'd be fine dying peacefully, because I can imagine dying painfully is not the best way you want to go out. Yeah, it's pretty painful for what I understand. That's a joke. Yeah. Anyway, would you rather own a coffee shop, coffee, or own a bakery? Mmm, bakery. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like coffee, but I do like baking, and I'm pretty sure it would smell much better than coffee, which sometimes does have a good smell, and sometimes it doesn't. I'll agree with that. Would you rather be a surgeon or be a college professor? Mmm. Um. I guess I'd be... A college professor, being a surgeon takes a really long time to master, and you kind of, you kind of have to live with the whole, like, if you don't do this right, the person could die. Yeah, um, I mean, that's a very good point. It's a, you're doing life and death decisions every day, and if you come into work and have a bad day, it could cost somebody their life. Yeah. And for being a college professor, I mean, kids are, well... Being in college, you're not going to have, like, a lot of kids, but there's still probably going to be those few kids who try to, like, who throw paper planes over this um place. But, right. you know, <laughs> I can just be that tired one who doesn't really care. Like the There you go. So this question's kind of a gimme here. Would you rather take every vacation to Disney World or to New York City? Mmm. Because, you know, we take every vacation to Disney World at this point. Yeah. Um, hmm. I guess I just go back to Disney because I don't really do well in the city. Um, and although New York is really nice, uh, the people there, some of them might not be nice. And I am... And for some reason, I have this uncontrollable fear of cities. I don't know why. I guess it's just I've seen too many freaky, like, alleyway, uh, psychopathic stuff. I don't know. Really? Um, I don't like being in a city because I've seen that there's, like, although they're beautiful, there's a lot of messy stuff that goes on with it. And I'd much rather go to Disney where I know not too much dark stuff's going to happen. Okay. I I would not have expected that reasoning, but that was the expected answer. Mm. Would you rather always have the newest technology or the best food in the world? Um, probably the newest technology. Um, food, uh, it's kind of my own personal preference. I don't really eat a whole lot and I'm kind of picky with what I eat so even if like people said like the best quality food would be something uh I'd have to find that out myself also like as long as I just got an okay meal I'm fine with that okay good to see you have low but realistic expectations for your food thank you would you rather have a mansion or a private jet um a mansion. Having a private jet, like, if I had any enemies, they could probably shoot that thing down. And having a mansion, you can have a bunch of self-defense. Wow, really? That's where you're going to go with that one, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Also, I don't like heights, and I don't really like planes either. Okay, well, you, you pulled the enemy <laughs> card there. I got you. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and the last one for your future self questions is... Would you rather work for your parents or teach at your high school? Um, work for you guys. I can imagine you guys would be pretty lenient with your employees, um, but still have the strict, have the good restrictions. And kind of like I said before, uh, kids, especially teenagers, are not the most fun to deal with. They're moody. Um, I can say this because I am a teenager. They get moody, they can be mean, they can be pranksters, they don't listen, they can't be quiet. So, yeah, I'd much rather work for you guys. Okay, I'll take that as a compliment. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about extracurricular activities. Alrighty. For over 
For seven years, the Second Sith Empire has been the premier community guild in the online game Star Wars The Old Republic. With hundreds of friendly and helpful active members, a weekly schedule of nightly events, annual guild meet and greets, and an active community both on the web and on Discord. The Second Sith Empire is more than your typical gaming group. We're family. Join us on the Star Forge server for nightly events such as operations, flashpoints, world boss hunts, Star Wars trivia, guild lottery, and much more. Visit us on the web today at www.thesecondsithempire.com. Alright, we are back. We are playing another round of our Would You Rather game. Kind of a little personality quiz that we do from time to time. We give you two things to choose from. We see which one you choose and then kind of figure out why you chose that. The next set of questions we're going to be talking about are extracurricular activities. Woo. So are you involved in any extracurricular activities at school right now? Uh, other than, other than band right now, no. And I probably won't be doing any extracurricular activities for this year since I'm not going to be going into school, one, and two. They're probably, most of them are canceled. Yeah. Um, so probably the only extracurricular thing I have right now in school is probably band. Okay. If that counts. Well, that'll count as one of the questions, that's for sure. Oh. Ready to get started on these? Sure. All right, here we go. Would you rather work at a summer camp or lifeguard at a pool? Um, hmm. Uh, I'd probably work at a summer camp. Um, because I can imagine there are, like, some fun activities and... I'd imagine some of the kids are probably pretty energetic and bring a lot of energy, and there'd probably be some funny stuff that goes on. Okay, that works. Would you rather join choir or band? Um, well, I'm in band now, so I guess band. Um, although I do sometimes sing, like, when no one's really listening because I don't really sing in public. Um... I would probably still choose band even if I didn't, even if I wasn't in band, um, because I enjoy band. I get to show at least one, one of my talents, which is music. And, um, with choir, although you do sing, everyone kind of sounds the same. And although I'm pretty sure a lot of other people would enjoy it, I prefer band. Okay. Would you rather never lose a sports game? Or never lose an argument. Never lose an argument. I really couldn't care less about winning a sports game. And I'd and it'd be much better if I never lost an argument. You do like to argue, don't you? I don't normally like to argue on purpose. I do it for non sport. You you argue for sport basically. Sure. <laughs> why not? You can say that's Which is why you want to win the arguments. That's where you're competitive. Sure. Would you rather be the school quarterback or have the lead role in the school musical? Mm, probably be the lead role in the school musical. I don't really know anything about football other than, like, a few things and that it's a game with a, f a ball. ball that is... That you don't use with your feet? Yeah. Well, <laughs> not most of the times. Um, and it would be nice to be in, like, a school play, even though I do have a bit of stage fright, um, even though, you know, we're doing a podcast, but then again, like, even though people are listening right now, it doesn't feel like it because I only see you in front of me. You can't see the millions of people that are listening right now? I don't think there's millions, Daddy. Well, there might be at some point. Maybe. We do put the recordings out there. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll buy that. It makes sense. Would you rather be a be good at synchronized swimming or at chess? Mm, 
Synchronized swimming is like a dance in the pool with a bunch of other people. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. I didn't think it was that tough of a question. <laughs> I guess I'll do chess. Um, I don't really know how to do synchronized swimming, and it'd be kind. And although it is beautiful, I don't really think that I'd really be doing that. Plus, being good at chess is comes with an academic standpoint as well. Um, and chess would make you smarter. And I don't really know what other benefits to synchronized swimming besides athletics it provides. Okay. Be coordination with others, but still don't know. Again, very well reasoned. Thank you. Would you rather have a bad picture of you on the cover of the school yearbook or a good picture of you on the cover of the school newspaper? Uh, a good picture. I don't really need people to, like, look at my face on the cover in a weird way. The newspaper, I mean... I don't know how many people read it because I know that in my school, not a lot of people got the newspapers, um, but it'd be better to get a better looking face because I don't need people to think I'm weird in photos. I want them to know that I can at least look somewhat proper in photos. Okay. I'll buy that. Would you rather always be first in the school lunch line or always be first out of the school parking lot? Um, out of the school parking lot. I don't really order lunch, so I just eat whatever mommy had packed me. Um, so I'll probably just be first in these, um, first, wait, what was the other option again? Do you want to be the first to get food or the first to get home? First to get home. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm the same way. Mm. Would you rather be president of your school council or the most popular person in school? Uh, probably be, um, the head of the school council. One, because I don't really care for popularity. Two, you don't know what you got popular for. It could be something good or it could be something bad. <laughs> okay, that's certainly one way to look at it. It can definitely be twisted. Sure, I'll buy that. Uh, next up, would you rather be captain of a sports team or president of the drama club? Uh, once again, I'll probably choose the show over sports. Once again, I have no intellectual idea of sports or anything to do with them. Um, but I do think I'd be good in the show business since I do like creating stories and sometimes acting out my characters. Okay, I think you would be a good fit for that. Thank you. And the last one that we have in our extracurricular activities, would you rather be able to play every instrument in the school orchestra or be able to play every position on the school basketball team? Probably every instrument. It would be kind of interesting to play all sorts of different instruments um, because there's a lot of different instruments out there in, um, our orchestra, so it'd be interesting to know how to play every single one of them. That way, like, I would at least know, um, one song from each, and, like, maybe it could be a one-man band one day. Okay, I'll buy that. So that was the last we had of the extracurricular activities, and I, you know, the one thing I think we can conclusively say from this line of questioning is... You're far more interested in performing arts than you are in sports. I think that's a safe bet. Yep. Okay. Um, that There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, I, I think you'd probably have a much better, much more lucrative career going that route. Very few people who are heavy into sports can capitalize on that and actually turn it into a profession. So... From a practical standpoint, I think you're in good shape. Thank you. We're going to take another quick break. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about dating. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've held off on this one for a while. So we'll be right back. Insights into Entertainment, a podcast series taking a deeper look into entertainment and media. 
our husband and wife team of pop culture fanatics are exploring all things from music and movies to television and fandom. We'll look at the interesting and obscure entertainment news of the week. We'll talk about theme park and pop culture news. We'll give you the latest and greatest on pop culture conventions. We'll give you a deep dive into Disney, Star Wars, and much more. Check out our video episodes at youtube.com backslash insights into things. Our audio episodes at podcast.insightsintoentertainment.com or check us out on the web at insightsintothings.com. Welcome back. We are playing another round of Would You Rather, and we're going to talk about dating. Mm -hmm. So this should be interesting. This is kind of a topic that we've not really touched on too much. Uh, I think it's kind of a sensitive and um, uncomfortable topic. But before we start, are you dating anyone? No. No. Do you think you're old enough to date? Well, well, for me right now, I don't feel like I want to um date anyone. Like, I can imagine like some other people would probably want to date at my age, but I'd say at least wait till you're fifteen or sixteen until you start dating. That way, you understand like what's your preference, what's your sexuality, that kind of thing. Okay. I can't argue with that. Ready to get into these uncomfortable questions? Sure, as ready as I'll ever be. This should be fun. Question one. Would you rather go on a double date with your parents or with your significant other's parents? Um, hmm. Well, I'd probably go with my significant other's parents because I know if I was dating a guy, you would probably be that overprotective father figure who, like, is pretty much wanting to know everything about my significant other and you're probably going to scare him because that's kind of what fathers do when their daughters end up meeting a guy. So, uh, yeah. Wow, just dropped us like a bad habit there, didn't you? I'm sorry. It's All right, just, that, no, uh, that's fine. You know, you're being honest. I appreciate that. Next question. Would you rather be turned down for a dance by someone you do like or asked to a dance by someone you don't like? As to the dance by someone I don't like, um, even if I don't um, like them in a romantic way, I still think we could... Um, make some good friends, and even if they didn't mean in a romantic way, it would still be, even if they meant it in a romantic way, it would still be kind of fun just to hang out with people, because, um, getting rejected in multiple manners is definitely going to be heartbreaking, and I'd rather be asked out by someone who I might not be attracted to, but I'd still want to, like, hang out with. Okay, that seems very diplomatic of you. Thank you. Would you rather forget the name of the person you're on a date with or call them your ex's name by accident? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. Uh-huh. Um, probably forget their name. It takes, like, me a little while to, like, finally learn someone's name, so I don't think they would, like, find it too offensive and it would probably be better than calling them my ex's name because, um, what, however we broke up, they probably don't want to, like, get involved and be offended. And I don't want them to be offended like that. Okay. I think that's a very, again, diplomatic approach to things. Would you rather get the stomach bug on a first date or run into your parents on a first date? Well, if I had told you guys about it, I'd probably have to run in with you guys. Um, because one, you don't want to have to like go home sick on a date early, especially the first date. So running into you guys, um, 
it would be an interesting time and probably a nicer, more memorable time than getting sick. Okay, I could see that. Would you rather always smell bad around the person you like <clears throat> or always say something embarrassing around the person you like? Uh, probably say something embarrassing. I say a lot of weird stuff, and, um, sometimes it's embarrassing. Um, but hopefully, like, if the person can take a joke, like, we can then, like, kind of laugh about it. Okay. I can see that. It'd be a lot easier to play off saying something embarrassing than always smelling, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Would you rather date someone who's gorgeous but unfunny? Or someone who's okay looking but hilarious. Okay looking but hilarious. Yeah, I think that's what mommy settled on as well. I'm I'm okay looking, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, let's face it, I'm pretty hilarious. Well, when you can be. <laughs> you 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 think that you're hilarious all the time. Um and you have a lot of dad jokes, so uh Well there you go. As long as you think you're hilarious, that's really all that matters. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you rather go on a great date with someone you would disagree about everything with or go on an okay date with someone you agree with about everything? Hmm. I guess I'll try the great date with someone who I disagree with on everything because it'd be nice to get someone else's perspective on a topic which I'm kind of settled on and maybe I'll even change my my mind a bit. That's a very mature approach to that. If nothing else, you'll have really good arguments that you can win, <laughs> right? Yep. We've already gone over that. Yep, we've already gone over that. Uh, let's see. Would you rather realize halfway through a date that there's something in your teeth or something in your nose? My teeth. That would probably be a better scenario. Yeah, I can't imagine what would be in your nose. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to know either. Okay. Uh, we're moving right along here. I'm almost out of questions. Oh, no. I know. I'll try to be more descriptive. <laughs> Would you rather date someone really quiet or someone really loud? Um, probably someone pretty quiet. I'm kind of quiet myself, but I can make the first move enough if I need if I need to. Um, and someone who's really loud, although they can they kind of scare me. I don't like a lot of loud noises, especially by shock. And meeting someone who's kind of like extremely loud for the entire date um probably my ears will hurt after that because i'm not used to hearing a lot of really loud voices because if you know sometimes i mumble and i'm kind of also that quiet person so um i'd rather go on a date with a quiet person because then um we can make some small conversation and like, my ears won't be hurting by the end. Well, and that gets kind of complicated, too, because if your date happens to be someplace where it's loud, like a concert or a nightclub or something like that, you're not going to hear the person, so there's not going to be any conversation with somebody who's quiet. Yeah, but I wouldn't think that they'd want to be in a very loud situation, so we'd probably just, like, go to a park or a nice quiet restaurant or something. That's true. That makes sense. So the last question that we have today is, would you rather date someone three feet taller than you or three feet shorter than you? Uh, I guess three feet taller. Um, for some reason, I've always preferred being a small fish in a big pond. Like, I always liked being in the younger grades, um, in elementary school. I liked being the first grader. Even though I still had a little bit of, I had little experience, there were people I could look up to. Okay. And quite literally, when I date someone, I can kind of look up to them. I don't really like being the tall person because I don't feel like I match the people who were older than me who um i'd seen um as my age and for some reason when i'm there i don't feel like i'm supposed to be there i feel like i'm still supposed to be like 
at least a grade under from where I would be then, so. Okay, that makes sense. Well, and it's funny you mention that because, you know, if you look at uh, Mommy and I, there's a bit of a height discrepancy between Mommy and I. Uh, I'm six foot four, and uh, Mommy is... uh, Exactly five feet. Five foot nothing. (laughs) (laughs) So I've got almost a foot and a half on Mommy. So it's kind of funny seeing the two of us uh, standing next to each other and the, the size difference. And the fact that Mommy is actually kind of a year older than you. Kind of, but not quite. She's only about 8,000 hours older than me. Yeah. We figured that out while we are on vacation. Yeah, that was just one of the things we thought about. And we just ended up looking it up, because why not? Right. So that was all we had for questions. We're going to take a very quick... Uh, break here we'll come back we'll get any afterthoughts you might have on any of the topics we talked about and uh finish up with some of the business of the podcast go for your afterthoughts okay so i guess do what you like i'm kind of just going off of the um pod after the uh activities and extracurricular things so do what you like um and it's also good to love who you like and cherish the moments with the people who you love um and it doesn't matter who they are as long as you love them and they love you and it's a healthy relationship then it's good wow that was that was deep kind of that was almost like a barney song Barney song, what? I love you, you love me, we're a happy fang. You don't remember Barney? Uh, no, and you probably don't want me to. Yeah, it's probably probably best that you don't. Anyway, uh, nice warm uh, parting thoughts there. Uh, before we uh, leave, I would want to uh, once again uh, invite folks to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and Amazon. Our videos are listed under Insights into Things. Our audio is listed as Insights into Teens. Uh, you can email us at comments at insightsintothings.com. We're on Twitter at Insights into Things. You can get high-res versions of our videos on YouTube at youtube.com slash insights into things. We do stream six days a week on Twitch at twitch.tv slash insights into things. If you are an Amazon Prime subscriber, you do get a free Twitch Prime subscription which uh, we appreciate it if you uh, threw a subscription our way or follow us on uh, Twitch. Uh, we are on Facebook at facebook.com slash insights into things. On Instagram, we are insights into things. Or you can visit our website at www.insightsintothings.com for all our video, audio, show notes, transcripts, and all of our social media stuff. And you. And don't, forget to, and don't forget to check out our other two podcasts, Insights into Entertainment, hosted by you and Mommy, and Insights into Tomorrow, our monthly podcast, hosted by you and my brother, Sam. Nicely done, even if you flubbed the first line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it for this week. Another one in the books. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>